Like I said, even up until last night when we were standing and talking to some of the people, and they hear the sorrow in their hearts. I understand there needs to be movement forward. I do understand that. But what I'm saying is that people are jumping too quickly on the political issue. Deal with the emotions of the people that's here. That's raw. I think we do need to. Um, the people, the, the basically, the, the, the movement needs to come from the residents, and they the residents need to feel empowered because uh, they need to be in control of it. Yeah, no, they have to. They have to take full control because it, there is going to be one or two people that said it's going to make an issue for themselves, and I know, and I understand it, and, and it's, 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 it's all business, and then someone give it free time. That's a great thing. But like you should know, if, you, if the movement moves ahead of the people, it's still grieving. We're going to have two separate issues. We saw that with the riots and what was happening in London. We saw it with, with, uh, with the, all the stabbings and the stuff that's happening. If the movement go ahead of the, what's happening there, we are leaving the family behind for a second. Yeah. We're going to say it's an issue. The council, Chelsea Council, is splitting people up, sending them away. Well, that was the case. That has to be a That has to be a responsibility because what happened is they're taking yeah. people up. They're doing the work they want to do in the beginning yes. to get rid of the people. So they're taking all the power. By taking them all power, giving them a good home, they know the people are not going to want to come back because of the trauma that's lying in the area. And that's just a way of getting rid of the people. Yeah. That, that's, that's how they are. They, they I think it's just as much political as it is people. Yeah. Because it's. But they're it's not seeing the. On my part, they're not seeing the people. If you look at here, what's happening here, people are bringing food and taking food and bringing food and bringing goods and taking goods out. And in the meantime, we had a guy walking in the streets last night, concerned about his brother that never came back, wanting to go to fish because he went back for his dog. And then in the, in the process, he never came back. But this guy was walking up and down this road, and not a single soul consoled him. That's hard. I mean, I, 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 I thought, like I said, I know he had, I could see he had, he had a drink, but then it, it struck me that what was happening there, perhaps he didn't know how to deal with the issues. Oh, we know, we, and we had a long conversation with myself, yeah. I had a long conversation with him. And it turned out that he lost his brother. So people, because we're so caught up in what's happening there, we want justice, we want everything. We yeah, need to really have justice. There is, but they can drag it out because they're still people's family lying in their building. I was listening to the news often. They said there's about 70 people. Where's the rest of the people that was in the There's building? shitloads more than that. So it's hun what, what are, what hundreds of people. To, I don't it's disgusting. Okay, they're not talking about the people who were saved. So the people that were saved, they should have been a number, right? That number was never published. Yeah, no one said. No one even knows how many people actually got. Out, there hasn't even been a, a number published of who actually survived. Exactly. No one actually knows anything. It's and, a massive so cover-up. How did they get to the number of seventy? And that went. That went like. And, and perhaps I think sometimes. Hi, Diane. Um, listening, listening, right? Basically, just um, just come from a residence meeting, um, which was at the Muslim Centre on Acton Road, which I kind of missed most of because I was working. Um, I just caught the tail end, and they're basically just saying it's just as much legal as it is political, and that we need to basically um, just speak with one voice. Um, and they've set up. There's basically there's kind of like legal aid there. Basically, residents from Grenville and the surrounding areas can go and um, basically kind of register there. It's not for their details to be passed on. It's just so you know that the help can get directed to the right people. Um, so that's been set up. And then the um, British Muslim Emergency British Muslim Response um, Charity or. or aid or a unit or something like that has basically set up a helpline for um, people as well um, which and it wasn't set up by the police it's not that helpline where people were feeling really stuck um, so that's basically as far as it's kind of got at the moment from what I could um, gather so now I'm just back at the west way <clears throat> um, waiting to help out um, a lot quieter than yesterday they've still got food and drink out for people. I know there's still a lot to do. I, I, I'm about to go and make contact with a woman that's um, dealing with the council and things like that to try and help her. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of kind of where we're at right now. Um, yeah, still people here, still people writing notes.
Sorry, Dan, I don't understand what you're saying, sweetie. I mean, I think it's a... <clears throat> the movement kind of needs to come from the people, but it's kind of helping them to feel empowered to actually do that. to walk down see what's happening down near where the, the roads were all shut off yesterday um, leading up to Grenville Tower they had riot vans there riot police <clears throat> oh sorry So what's going on down here? Sure, if he was shouting some racist abuse, then. No, it wasn't. It was all right. Someone's taking a picture. Okay. And I'm not going to stay on too long because I've got to go and actually get my hands dirty. Um, you can see the tower in there. What is it in the distance there in the corner? Completely burnt out, completely fucked. It's actually shocking. I mean, that building is literally burnt to cinders. You can't really see it very well in this from, from this camera, but it is it's like a skeleton. I don't understand how a massive tablet like that has managed to get so badly burnt like that. It's a huge building. I mean, that's immense. Hey! Oh, I know, sorry, I was in the meeting. What are you doing? I was like working, I was like completely on another planet all day today. Yeah, me too, I'm free. Yeah. Did I you went to the demo? Yeah. How was it? Uh, it was disappointing, I saw there'd be a lot more people. I suppose everyone's frazzled after the one yesterday. Because yeah, I mean, maybe. yesterday was completely there was mental. Sleeping. There was so much police around, there's one well, St. James Park. My oh, really? It was full of vans and police everywhere. Because I went on my bike, that's why I'm super lucky. Oh. <laughs> I, I I just wasn't present. I didn't feel present today. My head's been here the whole day, yeah, yeah. just been like 
Yeah. yeah. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna just popping down here. I've got to go and find this woman. If you want to come with me, you can. She's on the ground at the Westway, and she's. I don't know. She's got some kind of connection with um, links with the council, and she's basically organising things. I don't really quite know what. Anu just put, has given me her number and just put me in touch with her. Um, just wanted to sit in the daylight. I mean, it's such a shell. I mean, it's so fucking burnt. I don't know if you guys can really see that, but it, like, from where we are now, I mean, there's no fucking hell in hope of fucking people getting out of there. I mean, it is like fucking burnt to a cinder. I mean, it's hor- it's horrific, isn't it? Like. How massive building like that completely walk off flames? Where was the staircase and fire escape? Is it around the other side? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Can you imagine just one staircase for a building of that size? I know. Come on, no, for this is fine. Yeah, not for that amount of flats. 24, 24, 24 floors. 27. 27. 27 floors. 25 is 27. Yeah, I mean, it, it's horrific. It's just, it's too much. I'm going to wander back up. I've left John. Do you know my friend John? I've just been, he's kind of, I know he's a friend from Occupy. I'm waiting for Mihaly. Oh my God, I haven't seen Mihaly for ages. I have I've just I had noodles before I finish work because I was thinking I'm gonna be busy so I'm gonna head back up that way. Do you want to come up that way or are you gonna go and get pizza? I'm just gonna be under the west way because John I left John there with the chaplain. Okay, which which side are you? So on the right side, like literally where Mac- yeah, Mac- yeah, yeah, next to the community, Maxilla. next to the community Maxilla church. Nursery. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I've got water. Oh, okay. 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 Well, I'll be up there. Or just call me or okay. message me. Yeah. Okay. I'll see you in a minute. Then. Um. So this road is still mainly it's basically still closed it's normally a main road hi Ahmed nice to hear from you
kind of seems like there um, kind of feels like there's more um, I think because there's less people here today it's not so crowded it feels like there's more kind of resident people people that um, have been directly affected by it today Um, I'm going to sign off, so I'm going to go and pitch in now and help out. Catch you later, guys.